Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Cubs. What's up, guys? Rich Gaming 997 here today. We are back on MLB The Show 22. If you guys enjoyed this video, we really appreciate it. If you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play the show 22. Right, Hope everyone is having here. a wonderful Our week. In this one, Enjoying Stone. your hump day. His career ERA Doing whatever you guys four. do. What I like most about him is his Going up against Chicago. Two game day, series. Strowman and having a good season. Richard O'Neill up now for the Brewers. Chicago done put up one run already. Incredible season. He leads the league in all three triple crown categories. 89 home runs, 230 RBIs. <clears throat> Batting a 498. Strowman back to work. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That ups his hitting streak to lucky number 13. The Baker's dozen boog, and it doesn't seem like a huge number, but anytime you get to the point where you've hit in every game for almost two weeks straight, uh, that's a sign of what kind of rhythm you're in. Here's Guriel. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The pitch, runner on the go. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. First and second, no outs. Here's Luis Arias. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner second base, you want to be quiet out there. Oh. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Next pitch is popped up. up. <laughs> nice going there, Ray. Now it's Rowdy Telez. So RBI spot. Come on, Rowdy. Is a guy that is not really swinging the bat. Twenty four home runs, here. sixty RBIs. In this situation, RBIs. you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And a four pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. Gio Urshela to the plate. Urshela is cold. Left-handed pitching this Hasn't season. Hasn't been doing good lately. Drive that pitch, huh? The pitch and a swing and a miss down on strikes. Huge strikeout there. Gary Sanchez at the plate. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. He came back with another mm, good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. And that is the third out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Judge cutting across. Drops into the glove. One away. And now the shortstop, Sergio Alcantara. And the right hander deals. Center field. O'Neill has this one sized up. And that'll do it. And the Cubs are down in order, but they're on top, one nothing. Two outs, runner at first. Richard O'Neill now at the plate. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Uh, this one in the air center field. Got underneath that one. And that is that. <clears throat> So two on with two away. Now it's going to be Frank Schwindel. And the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. On to inning number four. It's the Cubs two and the Brewers nothing. Bottom four. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. In the air, out towards right center. Mm -hmm. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Mm -hmm. Judge couldn't get to it. Go ahead, run on base. Here's some real power at the plate. Richard O'Neill. My drive, that's a base hit. Torres around third fires to the plate he beats it safe it's 3-2 well there you go the RBI machine another clutch run scoring it back yeah he's been so good in these situations call it clutch if you want but his resume speaks Grand for itself Gary L towards first Ooh. and it gets by him in its second, no play. A run comes in on the play. Just a simple ground ball. Good shit, Gary L. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. He's 0 for 1. O'Neal at second. Guriel on at first with nobody out. Light drive. That's a base hit. O'Neal rounds third, headed for the plate. Safe. That's now that three hits in a row for the offense. The base Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now the center fielder, Richard O'Neill. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Swings through that one. Can't get to that one. I'm going to drive one of those out of here. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. <laughs> No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Runners on the corners with one gone. And next is the designated hitter, Lourdes Goriel Jr. For the fourth time tonight. Grounded to third. Could be two. Wisdom to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Richard O'Neill. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. So he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Righty to the plate. And I didn't miss that one, one though. Deep center field. <laughs> that, that one was bad. not missed. Go that on. was solid. <laughs> he blasts uh. one out to center. And they add a run. It's 9 2. 90 home runs on the season.
there was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Sometimes you can flip a coin with these short two-game series, but they came out, they got the first game, and that's all you want to do. You know you're guaranteed to split at this point, but now you got to turn the page and get ready for the next game. Perhaps you get a two-game sweep. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Cubs. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the hill for the Cubs, Adbert Alzola. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. One thing on his mind right there with that swing, he's trying to go deep. Yeah, you can do it. No one better. Start it up. Nope. Next pitch misses. And that's ball one. Oh. And he deals. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. <laughs> and for him, that's two solid weeks with the hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14. And let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding out at bats. He's figuring out ways to put the ball in play and just as well do it with some authority. Here's Lourdes hey, Gurriel hey, Jr. Right two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. And that'll load the bases. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's Luis Arias. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. He makes the grab. Both runners tagging. The relay. Save. He moves up and a run scores on the sack fly. As a run scores. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics. And he pulls and him be off the first. bag. <laughs> and up next for Chicago, Rymel Tapia. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel. New inning getting started, and stepping in is the speedy Richard O'Neill. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Oh, up to the left. Jammed. Into foul ground. Triantos oh. right there to make the grab. That and ball hung up there for so long. Up now for Milwaukee, Richard O'Neill. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Yelich, the runner at third. Torres at first, two out of the inning. 
Now a blast of nah, the down. Yeah, throw that there. shit down the middle of two ice. I ain't. <laughs> Only missed that one time. They ain't gonna miss that a second time to throw it down the middle. To their lead. It's mm -hmm. nine nothing. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the bat really helped that 95.7 mile per hour. <laughs> now it's John Hicks. Grounded out his first time. First and second, two down. John Hicks. Here's a high fly ball out to center. That is the inning. Cubs strand a couple, and they're down 9 nothing. The Cubs fans, they ain't happy. Oh. Cubbies. The and Cubbies first, fans. Christian Franklin, the next Cub to hit. <sighs> And that one lifted in the air center field. O'Neill puts it away, and there's one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a stepping in the long ball threat. Richard O'Neill. He's already homered in this game. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Yeah, be patient. Get your pitch, huh? And a pitch. Left field, way back there. That's out of here. Bangs off the wall. Let's oh, man, the banger. Some second scores as That's they add on. Thing. And they extend their lead. <laughs> That's a nice double right there. there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough. That's right, I was gone. Out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Yeah, solid contact. I don't know how that was no home run. That's crazy. The wind must be blowing it. Blame it on the wind. O'Neal stands at second with two gone. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers 11 and the Cubs. Rymel Tapia up to hit. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Out there to center. O'Neal pulls that one down. And there's one away. The batter, number one, designated hitter, Nick Madrigal. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Here's a 1 1. Out to center, Torres sizes this one up, stretches out and hauls it in. There's well, no way I was going to get there to catch that this ball. One, 11 to nothing. Here at Wrigley Field, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Richard O'Neill. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Movement in the Cubs bullpen, Harleen Garcia, the left-hander, up and throwing. The 1-0. Ripped on a line. Makes uh, the catch. And there's one down. Where's the wind Man, blowing? that's one of those at bats mm. where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything. 
Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you <laughs> win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach. Uh, everything is clicking for our right team. Now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out. Oh, score we don't another choke w. in the World Final Series. In this one, 13 <laughs> and choke nothing. in the playoffs. And, the road and make it to the World the Series. Win and picks up a sweep <laughs> for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. Three for five. Huh? Not bad. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask if you choose to, but most important of all, be kind to each other and tell someone you love them. Have a wonderful day. Peace.